Dear students, today I am going to explain limitations of Bohr's model. The first limitation is a spectra of atoms or ions having two or more electrons cannot be explained with the help of Bohr's theory. Look at this atomic structure of hydrogen atom. See, hydrogen atom has only one electron around its nucleus. For having only one electron, this hydrogen atom can be explained with the help of Bohr's theory. Now, look at the atomic structure of this helium atom and this helium ion. In this helium atom, there are two electrons here. For having these two electrons, the helium atom cannot be explained with the help of Bohr's theory. On the other hand, for helium ion, we get only one electron around the nucleus. For having only one electron, helium ion can be explained with the help of Bohr's theory. Similarly, these lithium ions and these beryllium ions can be explained with the help of Bohr's theory as both of them has only one electron around their nucleus. But this lithium atom and this beryllium atom cannot be explained with the help of Bohr's theory as they have more than one electron around their nucleus. That means Bohr's theory is only applicable for mono-electron system like hydrogen atom, helium plus ion, lithium 2 plus ions, etc. But it is not applicable for poly electron system. The second limitation of Bohr's theory is Bohr's theory cannot give any explanation for fine spectrum of hydrogen atom. See, when this hydrogen atom gets energy from outside source, its electron jumps to higher orbit. When the electron releases that excess energy in the form of radiation and returns back, then we get a spectral line like this. But when a high power spectrometer absorbs this spectral line, then we see that this line is not a single line. There are more lines in it. That means Bohr's theory cannot give any explanation for fine spectrum of hydrogen atom. The third limitation of Bohr's theory is Bohr's theory cannot give any explanation for the splitting of spectral lines under the influence of magnetic field that is Zeeman effect or electric field that is Stark effect for the formation of fine structure of atomic spectra. When a spectral line is passed through a magnetic field, it splits into several spectral lines like this. This effect is called Zeeman effect. The first letter of magnet is M. The word Zeeman has also the letter M. Therefore, when we will use this word magnet, Zeeman will come. Again, when a spectral line is passed through a electric field, then the spectral line also splits into several spectral lines like this. This is called Stark effect. The fourth limitation of Bohr's theory is Bohr ignored the dual character of electron in his theory. According to de Broglie, electron has both particle and wave nature. But Bohr considered only the particle nature of electron. That means Bohr treated electron only as a particle. The fifth limitation of Bohr's theory is Bohr's theory contradicts Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. According to Bohr's atomic model, an electron moves around the nucleus along a fixed circular path with a definite velocity. But Heisenberg said it is impossible to measure simultaneously both the position and velocity or momentum. The sixth limitation of Bohr's theory is it can give only two-dimensional motion of electron but it failed to give three-dimensional motion of electron. According to Bohr's atomic model, 
electron revolves in one of the circular orbit around the nucleus. See, this one is the circle and this is nucleus. Bohr said electron revolves in this circular path. This circle is a single plane circle. The motion of electron in this circle is two-dimensional. Two-dimensional means x-axis and y-axis. Look at this picture now. This is a sphere and this is nucleus. This sphere has x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. That means this sphere is three-dimensional. Actually, the motion of electron around the nucleus is spherical or three-dimensional. See, electron revolves like this in three-dimensional way. That means Bohr's theory failed to give three-dimensional motion of electron. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial.